what's everyone and welcome back to another gorilla tag fan game tutorial i up to my mic quality a little bit if you can't tell i got a good microphone and yeah that's probably what i'm going to be using for my tutorials from now on i'm using it currently in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to add photon slash multiplayer to your gorilla tag fan game it's pretty easy pretty simple not that hard to do just can take up a little bit of time and at the end i'm going to be showing you how to add a full body slash just like a 3d player model to your gorilla tag fan game just like gorilla tag you know yeah so i'm going to be showing you how to do that um so in the last video i showed you just how to make a basic gorilla tag fan game we got pretty much this done and now we're going to be making it multiplayer so, to get started with the process, we need to get Photon Pun 2. Link in the description. Alright, so the link should take you here. I just forgot to record this part, but um, to let go of the confusion, the link should take you here. What you want to do is just click Add to My Assets. Sign in. Yeah, whatever. And then Open in Unity. Just click that. Once you've done that, this will probably open up by itself if it, if you click open in unity this will open up my assets so this will open up just wait for it to do fetching assets and it will open up on this thing called pun 2. um yeah just go to the link in the description just click download and then add to my assets or open in unity whatever it says Make sure that your Unity project's open, and then it will open this up. Down here, just click Import, um, then click All, then click Import. One thing though, you'll have to download it, so just click Download, then click Import, then click All, then Import. I've already downloaded it, so it says Read Download for me. But you'll probably be clicking Download. So yeah, just do that. Um, yeah, just get that in. Uh. Just wait for it to load, I guess. I don't really know. Once that's imported, or yeah, whatever, once that's imported, this will pop up. So don't close this or press skip. Instead, go to the other link in the description, and it will bring you to this website that is Photon Engine. Just go to that. When you click it, this will probably come up. What you want to do is sign up, make an account. Once you've signed up, this might be here dashboard go to dashboard um when you're in dashboard it will look somewhat like this if it loads yeah it will look like this basically um you might not you might have stuff in here you might not but what you want to do is create new app where it says select photon sdk change that from real time to pun and then name it the name of your game so i'm just gonna name it a g tag as in g tag tutorial and then just press create um i don't know why that's there oh i've reached the maximum number of apps uh let me just go ahead and delete some Change this to pun. Go ahead and name it G tag. Cut. And then create. You should have no problems with this. But once it is created, it should pop up right here as a pun. Just don't do anything with it yet. Instead, create a new app again. So the pun is basically the multiplayer. And what we're about to do is the voice chat so what you want to do is on select photon sdk make it a voice then name it the name of your game so i'm going to name it g tag tut but then you can just keep it like that or you can just put voice at the end so i'm just going to put voice at the end so like ends the confusion then just go ahead and create that now i'm not gonna show my app id <clears throat> but what you want to do is on your pun g tag tut just click on that, 
it, it will automatically highlight it all and then just control C, control V. So copy that app ID. Then what you're gonna do is go back into your Unity and where this is, where it says app ID or email, just paste the app ID. All right, so I can't show my app ID. So basically, once you have pasted it in there, there should be a button that says set up project. Just click that and then click close. Now what we're gonna do is get Photon Voice 2. Go to the other link in the description. It's a Unity Assets file. Uh, again, I forgot to record this part, but it'll probably be here. Just click Add to My Assets, then click Open Unity. Add to My Assets, Open in Unity. Simple as that. Just download, Add to My Assets, or Open in Unity. Should bring you here. Just click Update or Download. I'm gonna go ahead and update it. Uh, just download it, and then just click Import. This will pop up, just click all, then click import. And this is basically adding the voice. If it happens to say update, I would just go ahead and do that. Because there's no reason in not doing it, but this should be too long and I'm making a tutorial, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip pressing update. It might cause me really big problems not updating it, so I just recommend doing that. Now that's imported, we're gonna go ahead and get the Photon VR package. So the other link in the description, it's a GitHub file. All right, it's gonna bring you here. What you wanna do is just click on Photon VR and then it will instantly download it. And then the rest of the video explains it from there. It's the Photon VR package. Just go ahead and download that. Then here, right click, import package custom package and then find the photon vr and then just click click on it open all import easy as that now technically our multiplayer is it we're gonna go ahead and find the photon vr it should be somewhere over here photon vr find it and go ahead and go into player this is basically your player um if it asks you tmp essentials and tmp extras download this you'll probably need it later on in your game and you're also needing it now so just download it now there's one more thing we have to go ahead and do and i believe that is going into your prefabs under Photon VR. Go into your prefabs and all these things, drag them into your hierarchy. Now, on your Photon VR manager, we are going to change EU to US. That's what you would want. And then where it says head, um, what you wanna do is drag head, left hand, Left hand, right hand, right hand. Wait, okay, I'm an idiot. Don't actually do that. <laughs> Go out of player. Drag this into here. I'm such an idiot. Don't, go back into your player and all these things that I told you to drag in, just delete them. I did it wrong. You want to drag them in in your sample scene, not your player scene. Now in Photon VR Manager, on your sample scene, change this to US. And then head, you wanna drag in main camera on your gorilla player, just drag down, gorilla player. For head, you wanna drag in main camera, left hand, drag in left hand controller, and right hand, drag in right hand controller. Where it says color, you could choose the color of your hand and head and body, but there's no point because we're gonna be adding a we're gonna be adding a um full body anyway. Um, where it says default room limit, I just go ahead and change this to 10 because 
that's basically every Guerrilla Attack fan game server limit. Then we're just gonna go to file and save. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So let's go test it out in VR to see if it works. There's only one way to know if it worked. And that is if this like little black character is on your body instead of the only two dots. So let's just get into VR. Also, there's one thing I'd like to say. In my last tutorial, I kind of forgot to edit a part out, which is just me literally waiting for the VR testing to work. I'm sorry about that. You may have not even noticed it, but you probably did if you watched my last video because it like was five minutes of me just trying to get the VR to work. I forgot to edit that part out. So yeah, um, my bad. Let's go test this out in VR. Hopefully it doesn't break like last time. I forgot to do something. So just go back to your Photon VR Manager and where it says App ID, paste your App ID in uh, uh, this one uh, back on the website, this, paste it back in and on the voice one, it should be down more, it should be yellow. On the voice that you made, right here, copy and paste that in. So just paste the normal app ID in right here and then paste the voice one. I'm not gonna show them. Sorry, I forgot about this part. So it should work now if it wasn't working for you earlier. Let's go see. So as you could see, is instead of just the two dots, I had this like blackish looking body which had hands. Looks somewhat like this. And it's kind of boring, but at least we know it worked. But let's go ahead and change it. I'm not gonna tell you how to make a rigged player model for your game, cause it takes way too long to do that. But all I'm gonna say is you could buy or just get for free rigged player models. You could get them off of Sketchfab. You could just use Robot Kyle. Just search that up in the Unity Asset Store. But this one I'm gonna be like using one off of Sketchfab. So yeah. Or not one off of Sketchfab, but what it would be like if you got one off of Sketchfab. Let me explain. So I'm just gonna go ahead and import the model by pressing import new asset and then just finding the model. All right, so I went ahead and imported it. Once you've imported your model that you got off Sketchfab or whatever, wherever you got it, maybe you made it yourself, wherever you got it, import it into your player place like this. It might be really big and rotated a different way. Just scale it down, you're probably gonna need to do that. And get it in like kind of perfect positioning with this like player looking guy. Get it in perfect positioning like that. Pretty good. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is on this model, let's first drag it under head and on it there should be something called armature if it's rigged go under that and then just like undo like all of these so like lower all of them like that until you find the one until you find a bone that is located at your wrist so this one is located at my right wrist and just rename it our hand as in right hand and then find the one that's located on your left wrist. So this one is, and rename it L hand, as in left hand. And now, what we're gonna do is get the Fast IK Fabric script, link in the description to get that script, and then Control C, Control V that whole script. And then once you've Control C, Control V'd it, in your assets, create, go. I mean, right click, create C sharp script, and then name the script fast IK fabric. Exactly that spelling, or else it won't work. Then just double click on it. It might ask you, like, what to use, or like, 
what is a good script thing you need to use or whatever. I recommend downloading Visual Studio. It's good. Once you open it up, there should be all of this. Just delete it. And then paste in the FastIK fabric code that you got from the Google Doc. So yeah, I'm just gonna control V, the FastIK script. And then what you want to do is over here, click on that file. Hi guys, Save. today I'm going to be teaching you how to add a full 3D body as a character stuff. in Let's your Gorilla Tag game. Bit of a if you haven't already, go and watch my uh, first video on that? how to make a Gorilla what's Tag that? fan game. Okay, I'm sorry some things are confusing, but a random Be Awesome video that I got the, um, <clears throat> I got the script from him, started playing. But, um, we're talking about B. Awesome. Shout out to him. He actually made the script. I don't know if he made it, but I know I got it from him. So, shout out to him. But, yeah, a random B. Awesome video started playing. So, that's that was weird. I don't know why that happened. Of course, you need the game to be made before you do this. So, please go and watch that video. And before I teach you guys, I just... Sorry about that. I had a B. Awesome video in the background. I was getting the script from him. That's exactly why I shouted him out. I was getting the scripts from him to help you guys. So yeah, I don't know why it just randomly started playing, but whatever, once you have that script, what you wanna do, create a new script, open it up, Control C, Control V, the Fast IK Fabric script actually on that, on the script, whatever. Now what you wanna do is on your R hand, just drag Fast IK Fabric on it, and on your L hand, drag Fast IK Fabric on it. And while you're on your L hand, this will pop up. The pole, where it says pull right here, is always the bone right below your hand. So always the bone right below your, your any of your hands, our hand or right hand, always the bone below it. Drag that into your pole. And the target, this is my left hand, so I'm gonna drag left hand into the target. And then on our hand for the pole, the bone right below it. And for the target, right hand, because it's the right hand. Boom, that's literally it. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is hide the VR body. So it should say like VR body, hide it. VR head, VR hand, hide them so they don't show up when you're play testing your game VR head hide it and then boom you can add materials onto it if you want but now I'm gonna go play the game to test out if I have the player model and if it worked so let's just go ahead and save and go test it out in VR as you can see I had the full body instead of just the hands it looked kind of wonky Here's the reason for this. What I like to do is on certain player models, especially this one, I have experience with this one. I bring this one back a little bit. The model, I bring it back and then bring it down. So it might not be perfect when you perfectly align it with your VR head. It might not look that perfect. So you might wanna test out different areas to drag this model to see where it is like, actually like looks good in. Like you saw my arms are really long and wonky. If I know that if I drag this like right here, it like looks good because I've used this model before. So yeah, try to find that perfect spot for it to look good on your model. And that's how you add multiplayer and a 3D model to your Gorilla Tech fan game. Simple as that. If you guys want more tutorials, I'll give you them. Just comment in the comments. Also, sorry about the mistakes I made in this video because I definitely made a lot on accident. Um, just make sure to follow the whole video and you should have a multiplayer fan game with a 3D player model. Um, yeah, like the video if you found this helpful and hit the sub button and I'll see you guys in the next one.